Welcome to another Inside Music Row. Adroit Records is a company that really puts an emphasis on their songwriters. Now they're putting their money where their mouth is. They believe that some of the best music being created these days is not considered commercially viable, so it's not available to the general public on the radio. That's why they created Words and Music, a collection of 10 incredible songwriters with some of their biggest hits. Kelly Lynn caught up with the team at a listening party in downtown Nashville. Check it out. Hi, I'm Kelly Lynn, and we are here at the Rutledge getting ready for the CD release party of Words and Music, and we're going to catch up with some of the performers. I'm a soldier. I've caught up with Vince Melamed, and you, congratulations on all of this. What a great project to be involved oh, it in. Oh, is, yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful chance to, uh, for everyone just to do their own versions of their songs. And, you know, Jim, when he first came to town, I think he was going to Bluebird every night and just checking out every writer and this and that and bringing back people, telling me about people that I never heard about. And he uh, called together, you know, 10 songs. It's great. I may come back home to a big parade. Is it country music? Is it folk music? Is it Americana? Who cares? It's a great song. When you listen to it, you hear the story and you can't help but be drawn in. So it's really an honor and a privilege for me as a producer to go into a studio with 10 songs where you couldn't decide in a million years which one's the best. Right. What a treat. What a thrill. What an honor. You're right. Just songs that are touching. And the radio, you know, sometimes they never make it to radio, so the world never hears them. This is a great idea. No. It, and my... I always say within five miles and for five dollars you can go out on any given night and, and just be astonished by the level of talent that's in this town. So I was really lucky. I mean, I got people like Craig Monday and Lisa Carver and Vince Melamed, who's had all these hit records, is a really good friend of mine for a long time. We were neighbors in California, we were neighbors in Nashville. And when I told him about the project and my concept and what I was trying to do, he point blank said, whatever you want me to do, I will do. I don't know how to walk alone. I'm here with one of the writers, Lisa Carver, and Jim mentioned earlier that he heard you performing at the Bluebird. I mean, what was that like to get a call after that and say, hey, do you want to make a CD? It was pretty cool. It was uh, probably shortly after I'd written my song Bullets, and uh, and you know, just one of those nights at the Bluebird, and I pulled that one out that night, and sometimes there's something magical surrounding a certain performance, and I think that night it was one of those that you know people were hanging on every word, and um, and he came up to me afterward, and he just was man blown away, and uh, and he stayed on me for a little while about you know this project, and I started hearing who he had on the project. I went, oh, you know, Ray Sisk and Shelley Tackett, and. Um, and just Jim's spirit, he was just so cool, and you could tell his heart was all about the song and the music. And I was in, man, it was an honor. Just as I am without one plea, a long way from home and father from freezing. Where can people go out that are watching this and want to get a copy of the CD? Where can this be purchased? Well, it can, all the normal places, um, they can go to our website which is adroitrecords.com and there's a lot of really cool video on there from the Bluebird. Now, Bluebird has a really famous reputation and people come there every night and they'll say, oh, he's first time here and half the audience raises their hand. It's a wonderful environment. It's where this concept was born. So we have video on there of everybody performing at the Bluebird so they can go to the, our website and see that and they can buy it there. They can get it at CD Baby. They can get it at iTunes, wherever they want. It's available at a lot of places. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, sometimes it gets real hard. I'm here with Brendan McKinney. Now, how did you get involved with the project? Well, I met Jim Tract in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. I was showcasing. I played him some songs. He liked what he heard. And I liked what I heard when he was talking about the project. And then we met again in Nashville and just came closer and closer to uh, doing a deal. She feels nice. Yes. She's all soft and silky and smooth. She smells sweet. Yes, she does. Like honey, so cool and bloom. And she looks good. Yes, she does. Let's talk about your song on the CD. Tell me the title of it. The title of the song is Yes, yeah, She Does. What's it about? It's a song about uh, a guy who 
meets a girl and uh, kind of knows the girl before he realizes that uh, she's available. Here she comes again. And it started every day in a clean workshop at the north end of a southbound. Just looking back on how Jim went around and handpicked artists for this project just says a lot about him. He had to be moved as the person putting the project together. And as a result, you're going to hear a collection of songs that, you know, are going to move. Where my kids and my cops, my dreams don't go. The writing community here is astonishing. People want to help each other. They want to support each other. But when I see somebody who's willing to work from 10 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning, would actually leave the Bluebird, do a show at the Bluebird, astonish people, blow them away, get in their car and go put on a little schmuck and start stocking shelves, those are the people that we want to help. Those are the people that we're interested in. Those are the people that we want to, su to sign, support, and let you, the listener, hear. Because I think it's the only way you're going to get to hear them. And I'm just hoping that everybody loves what we're doing so we can keep doing it. So that, you know, Carleen can stop working at the supermarket and Ray can stop hanging drywall and you know all those things so that they can just devote themselves to their art because that's how amazing as artists they really are. The Words and Music Project is simply incredible and one I highly suggest you pick up. I always enjoy helping out the songwriters right here in town.